Hello again from East Coast Fibreglass. In today's video, we're going to use cheap water-based clay, the same clay that's often used for pottery in schools, instead of a wax-based clay to finally produce a latex mask. Waxed-based clay is the best option for this, however, not everyone has the budget for wax clays such as Shivant, Monster Clay, etc. The downside to using water-based clays is that it can dry out very quickly if you don't spray it with water constantly, and it can be too soft. However, it is a very cheap clay to use. Once the sculpt is complete, you need to seal it. We used aluminium spray paint. Then form walls of clay following where you want your splits to be on your two or three part mould. These will form plaster flanges to allow your mould halves to be attached together. Don't push too hard against the sculpt as this could leave indentations or lines in your mould. Then mix fine casting plaster and water together and apply to the sculpt and onto the flange formers. As you build up the layers you can add plaster bandage or jute scrim cloth as reinforcement to strengthen your mould. Once dry, remove the clay formers to expose the plaster flange. Create a wall around the edge of the flange with clay and apply Vaseline as a release agent to the flange. Then repeat as previous to the other side, adding plaster and bandage. Once cured, detach the two mould halves from the sculpt. Gently clean the excess clay from the mould and then put the two halves back together. Make sure you use clay or even silicon to seal the seam lines of your mould, otherwise you'll lose a lot of latex out of the mould. When ready, and confident all risks of leaks are taken care of, you can fill the mould with latex and leave it in there overnight. The next day you can pour out the excess latex back into its container and leave the rest of the latex in the mould to dry. If you find the skins too thin, you can always apply more coats of latex. The longer you leave the latex to dwell, the thicker your mask will be. It may take a few attempts and timing to reach a thickness you're happy with. But once you have your mask, you can remove the seam lines using scissors and buff them out using a felt wheel on a Dremel tool. Then, finally it's time to do the paintwork on your mask and bring the character to life. We sealed the latex with a product called Prose-Aid Adhesive first, and then mixed acrylic with Prose-Aid, or you could mix it with latex to make a flexible paint. Special thanks to professional artist and sculptor Neil Sims for his expertise and sculpt work. And thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.